Welcome to Mom's Pump here. Hashtag the, the pink, pink life. I'm Priya. I'm Kateria. I'm Sue. I'm Kim. And today we're talking about how to handle criticism from other moms who have already been there, done that. Well, we also have a surprise topic. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with because it, 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 it meshes really well with what we're going to talk about. Okay. okay, so do you want to talk about ours first? And this then is the surprise the topic because it'll, it'll be great. Come back in? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, so my surprise topic today is breastfeeding versus bottle feeding. Because a lot of moms, and we get this all the time, you either really hardcore breastfeeding or hard or just you can't breastfeed at all and you have to use a bottle. And a lot of moms feel like, you know, they're, they're pressured into breastfeeding. Or you know they they are not um, their self worth. They don't feel a lot of high self worth because of all this criticism about bottle feeding. But if you can't breastfeed, what are you gonna do? Okay, you can't start the baby. <laughs> you have to bottle feed. So I wanted everybody's really organic opinion of this. Well, Terry, did you feel that? Did you find that people felt that if you were not using your breasts directly to feed your baby, that, that I did find that I did. But you know, honestly, I did whatever made me feel comfortable. Right. Although I, I never criticized anyone for for their opinion, I just simply smiled and said, oh, that's nice, and just kept it moving. Because, you know, people do what feels good to them. So I, I know when I first got pregnant, I swore I was gonna breastfeed until she was a year old, and I'm only gonna breastfeed, and I'm gonna be the best mom. And then reality hits. It's like, listen, everywhere I go, I cannot have her attached to my breast. You know, you have to pick up the kid from school and then, you know, and breastfeeding is so on demand that you just can't do it everywhere. So I did have bottles prepared and especially, you know, your first night out, you drop the kid off, you have bottles. Like, you can't be there with the kid, obviously, or with the baby. <laughs> so um, I really just did what felt right for me. Not, I, I was one pregnant girl that did not dive into the books or dive into the internet. I did everything I felt, I enjoyed it. I had the most amazing pregnancy. I labor, everything was amazing to me and I did not feed into online critics. I didn't, or these, um, what everybody was scared there's, of. There's, you can get a lot of great information at the baby show, but you can also get Thank a you. lot of things that will make you feel like you're making the wrong choice. And so there's a lot of magazines, you know this magazine. Right. <laughs> A lot of, we, we've had some articles that have been published in here, and that's information that works for Korea and me. Yeah, that's right. stuff that we found by talking to other moms that we think other moms should hear about, but we're not trying to say, this is exactly what you should do. Right. This is, these are your rules, and this is what you should follow, follow by. If you don't follow them, well, we can't help you. But I think that's a mistake a lot of moms do is, you know, they've been there, done that, or, you know, this is what I did, and this is what worked for me. And their opinions are so strong. Exactly. Yeah. So what, what, and what, and what worked for one mom might not work for another mom. Right, exactly. So it's like you were saying before, you kind of just got to feel out what works for you. When I give my advice, I never give my advice um, according to what, I never say what you should do or what you should try. I always say what I did and what worked for me, yeah. you know. But I heard this work, then this worked for this one. You know, I always give a variety right. of opinions and information, but I never say you should do this. Right. But you when know? you, when we all found out when we were first pregnant, did you have like you had people who were excited for you and happy for you? But did you have like, critics right away? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. well, I had you know, you know, you have family members. And God bless them yeah. that you know feel that they, you know have to put in their two cents about, you know, what you should do, what you have to do. But yeah. it really wasn't until, like, I was in the hospital and after I gave birth and the nurse was like, you know, are you going to breastfeed? And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to try. I'm like, but they're like, well, you have to. I'm like, I know I'm going to try, but if it doesn't, like, you know, they almost make you feel bad. Like, <laughs> if it doesn't it's work, like, yeah. Yeah. you know. And we're, we're pro breastfeeding. Yeah. Everyone would, all, all, well, not, I, won't, I won't say everyone, but. Most women, they want a recipe, yeah, but it doesn't right. always happen that way. But then you have family members that come in the picture and they're like, it has to be this way, this is what I learned, especially our moms and our older sisters, which I got a lot. Yes. Yes. And yeah. grandmothers. And grandmothers. And, and family members who did not have children. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I remember one very specific moment. It was 
when the ba my oldest child had his first bottle. And it was a pump of seven milk. And it was really only two ounces. And you know how hard it is to make those two ounces. Oh, yes. That first time, you were so proud. And you're thinking, oh, this will get him through like three hours of me leaving. And one of our aunts that was her was like, oh, he needs more. He needs more. And just gave him the bottle. And it was gone in a second because he never had a bottle before. And I was crying. I was so upset because somebody else thought they knew better. And I... I didn't trust myself to, make a decision, to know right. that I should have put my foot down and said, no, no, this is what he needs. This isn't, he doesn't need that. He needs to just come. Right, because you were there. Right, I was right. there. But they wanted to feed him because mm -hmm. in that generation, you always gave them a, a, a formula bottle. Right. You always fed them a lot of formula bottles. And then when, <laughs> I think when our partners were were being fed their first foods, it was rice at like six weeks. Right. You know, like, <laughs> That's so true. It's the same as it is right now. So, yeah. I feel like everybody has an opinion and you have to figure out what works just for you and for that baby because we've had three kids and we've had six kids. You yeah. know? And what works for the first baby isn't going to work for the last exactly, baby. Exactly, exactly. Were well, your yeah. boys the same? When, in terms of what works for breastfeeding or just mothering They're both, them? you know what, both of them are just, you know, totally different. Just for like, the so Tyler, he had his uh, muscles in his, in his mouth, so it was very hard for him to last a lot of So it, even just like, I had a, you know, I bottle fed him, but it's just, even with just, you know, from a bottle, it just, you know, it was a lot harder for him because of the sucking motion, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and every woman's different. Exactly. So you know, we we, we want to put out there that we promote breastfeeding. We encourage moms to do it, but we're not. We don't criticize moms that have to do bottle feeding or formula feeding because life is not perfect. Our bodies are different. Our bodies are not always going to work the way we want them to. You know, so it's really important that you have the support you need, and if people give you. Their opinions. <laughs> I think it's bad enough. Like when I when I switched from um, breastfeeding to uh, bottle feeding with with uh, breast milk, I still I felt a little bit distant, you know. So to have someone come and still say something, it's like thank you very much. And even switching to formula, I kind of kicked myself in the butt, like. Why did I, you know, give up? So, you know, but you know, things happen, and we're hard on ourselves as it is. Right. So we don't need the extra criticism. All right. Well, yes. that's our episode for today. <laughs> <laughs> Always follow your heart, even if you get a lot of criticisms or opinions from people. Be polite, of course. And don't be afraid to talk to your you know, your OBGYN. That that's why they're there to help you. With your doula, your, your lactation consultant, yes. 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 midwives, all of your care providers. And if you don't want to read the books, you don't want to look on the internet, um, look at chat rooms, all of that, but get the information that you want to get. Right. You know, yeah. Make sure that yeah. you're, you're making the information available to yourself so that you know you're making the best decision that you can do. Good advice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, don't forget to visit MomsPumpHere.com. Register our Moms Pump here. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And then you can also subscribe to us on YouTube for more information like this. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. If you like this video, click here to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos like this, click here. And if you would like to download the Mom's Pump Here Nursing Locator app, click up here.